Hey, I'm John Matthews. I am the president and CEO of Graycat Enterprises, and we're going to talk about diagnostic store assessment. And you're probably saying right now, what the heck is that? That is, you know, if a customer were to come into your store and evaluate it and give you a very candid response to the way your store looks and feels, what would they say? So this is an opportunity for you to have perhaps a third party come in and take a look um, and identify opportunities for your stores. So you may have a chain of 10 stores and not all of them are gonna be the same. You're probably gonna have some that are nice stores and you're probably gonna have some that are your kind of smaller basic stores. So try to understand all the nuances of your stores, try to develop an overall brand. Do you have a theme for your stores that makes sense? And then. Once you kind of establish that, how do you capitalize on market trends kind of moving forward? So we don't do this in a vacuum. You basically would look at exactly what you have today, your history leading up to it. What do you do really well? What do you see as opportunity areas for your store? So maybe you wanna get into food service and you just don't quite know how to get there. So this assessment will help you learn about uh, the opportunity there. So it's a series of learnings and observations about your existing store. Then we're gonna actually go in and take some pictures. And sometimes pictures can paint a, a messy pic, uh, a story about your, uh, about your stores. Um, what's the old adage? A picture speaks a thousand words. So what are you known for? Where are your process deficiencies and, and opportunity areas like out of stocks or stacking product and on the counter? So from store layouts to merchandising to operational procedures to overall branding assessment. And we're also going to then benchmark your stores against the industry. Who is doing great things that maybe you want to emulate? Who are, who are doing great things that you know you can't emulate? So let's not even go there. So what you can and cannot execute at your stores kind of going forward. And then use a segmentation process that you can offer certain products by store type. We're also going to take a look at the brand attributes and pillars. So, you know, what are the brand attributes of your store? Do you have a brand that is clearly yours or are your vendors basically running your store because everything looks like it's a vendor? And how do you communicate these? And what are some of the pillars that you want to stand behind? So every time you add a new product, is it in alignment with your brand pillars? So we'll take a look at both tactical and strategic initiatives, segmenting your stores by type. So you may have some urban stores, some suburban stores, some rural stores, all getting different types of programs, or you're gonna to try to link them all together in some fashion. Uh, you're, you're probably gonna have some higher end stores, some premier stores and some basic stores. So how do you address uh, the products that you have out there? Create some signature offerings. Someone walks in and, oh, I always go to ABC store because they have X and establish those brand pillars kind of going forward. So I've been around the block enough to know that this is a great way to get a true assessment of your stores and how they look collectively, as well as the flexibility to um, have them perform independently. So again, my name is John Matthews. I'm the president and CEO of Graycat Enterprises. If you're interested in learning more about diagnostic store assessments, give me a holler at the number below. I appreciate your time. Thank you.